to, uh, we're going to pass over the minutes because they weren't disseminated with the, um, with the uh, package. We'll revisit them next year, next year. Next meeting. <laughs> <laughs> next, year. Uh, next item is review and vote to approve the warrants. Okay. Uh, I make a motion to approve Second. warrants for the period know. covering. March 12, 2019 to April 3, 2019. Town payable warrants FY 2019-39 and FY 2019-40. Sewer FY 19-SE20. Payroll PR 2019-13. MLP 19. School FY 19-S15 and MLP 27. Second. Discussion? None. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? So moved. Uh, next is to uh, sign the band paperwork for the fire truck borrow. This is really easy. Yeah. Yeah. Do you need to make a motion? And, yeah, and well, okay, if we could, I want to, what are they, can you tell us what the terms are? Yes, I can. Um, I'll be professional one last time. <laughs> <laughs> so it's the <clears throat> fire truck um, general obligation bond, state house note, $575,000. The sale date was March 28th. The delivery date is 412. The due date is 614 of this year. There'll be, um, we got two bids because it's a, a small band for 575000 One was from Century Bank, 2.5%. The one that took it was the East Hampton Bank um, for 2.24%, and we budgeted like 3%. Perfect. Um, we will pay down $115,000 on June 14th, and then town meeting is going to have the $85,000 article for the equipment. If that gets added on, then it'll be a five-year ban. Otherwise, it's possible, since we're paying down this same fiscal year, it'll be a four-year ban. So the, so the public knows the $85,000 we did. Town. Same yes, thing. town meeting. It's pending town right. meeting vote. Is, is we're looking to put equipment in the fire truck that didn't come with it. Yes. Um, I just want to make sure I'm understanding. You are. We're going to pay... This fiscal year, we're going to pay down on the ban and therefore be able to borrow again for this equipment without going through the whole process again? Yeah, we, we're already borrowing the 575. Yeah, it, it's when we pay down, that's what it sounds like to me that we just can add it together because it's still going to be under the 575 because we're paying the 115 down. Because 115 is going to be budgeted for the principal payment. It already so is for June. We could just say we're taking part of the principal payment and. That's right. Okay. So we're going to know at town meeting whether to do four years or five years? Well, yeah, and, and yeah, I mean, that's still right. Leslie said five years um, is what she wants to structure it for because she has that 115. Well, that's if the 85,000. So I'm not positive if it's going to be four or five, but it's definitely going to be five years if the $85,000 gets added on. It Otherwise, we will probably be a five year no. Well, it's and it paid off in four if the 85. Well, it's every year gets the band. Oh, that's right. You have to. So. Re redo the bandage here. Renew it. Okay. And okay. Whatever, whatever the principle is, that's the amount you need. Um, the inter yeah, the, uh, well, that's where the town accountant comes in, separating it and figuring out how much we can afford to pay down where it comes from and all that. ban, I think you only, you don't have to pay any principal. You, with the ban, I think you can just pay interest. Right. And you can do for up to five years, and then after five years, you have to bond it. But. We don't, we don't want to do that. No, we're not bonding it. It's going to be right, gone. Right, but we, you know, the principal amount. We can make it for as long as we want, up to five years. Right, but our past practice is always to pay down to owe less interest. The interest rate was great. It's not much interest comes out of my budget because it's short-term ban. Okay. And, and just to make it clear, the 85 has not been voted no, upon has until not we been go voted to on. town meeting, which is the equipment. Yes. To add on, because when we did that at last town meeting, it was not included. Exactly. So if it gets, if it passes then it'll be an additional, and if it doesn't, well, then you've already paid 115000 on the 575 Okay, thank you. You're welcome. So I make a motion to approve the ban. Second. Any other discussion? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. 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 
Opposed? So moved. All right, you can't do the public hearings yet. Uh, request for transfer of license issue to Shannon's Pizza. How you doing? Good, I'll do. Welcome. Take a seat. Introduce yourself. Tell us what you're looking to do. Yes, uh, I want to be by this store. I like stay here on this town. I worked here maybe for two years ago. But I like to stay here. Maybe I go work in South Bridge and look some store over there. And maybe Spencer and Dudley too, but uh, I come to back here uh, and look maybe some store around here I like to be. Okay. You don't have anything, do you? So, <laughs> <laughs> you're going to miss me. So are you looking to purchase the building or no. just the business? Just, just the business. Okay. And you've worked there before yes so why west boils and what attracts you to west boils because i like to work stay here with some people here around here okay and the business was up for sale or did you no it's uh, it's, it's already called me i'm work with the owner over there and he called me he want to be sales the store he called me okay i go with him we talk in or we'll be buying Okay, and do you have any plans to change anything with your uh, No, I'm still for right now. Uh, I'm keeping everything is the same thing. For okay. the name business, everything. The hours never same. Sorry? The hours. Always? Hours? hours. You're open? No. Yeah, yeah. It's maybe tomorrow. Same as it is now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And do you live in the area? No, I'm living in South Bridge for right now. Well, that's quite a haul. Yeah, I would be looking for any apartment around here. Okay. For next month, maybe. Okay, just to see yeah. how it goes, yeah. or. No, it's just I'm local already around here for any apartment. Okay. Just I'm live only me. I don't have any family around okay. here. Okay. All right. Uh, there was uh, something about the an inspection happening. There was no uh, health inspection. No issues were anticipated. Did that happen on Monday? It, um, I didn't hear that it didn't happen. And if it didn't happen, then I would have heard. And we don't um, issue anything until the building inspector says everything's good to go. I think somebody called him. It's last week, but he's already go for an inspection. He gave me certificate yesterday. He gave you the certificate. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. Great. I think so. On Monday. Yeah. It's Monday, you give me a certificate Monday. Then, then you're good to go. Yeah, Perfect. it's an inspection. Yeah. And two guys come. Yeah. Somebody from a building here and another body from fire building. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. Do we have a motion? I'll make a motion to approve the license transfer. Second. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Good, good luck. Good luck. Thank Welcome. Thank you. Okay, um, next item on the agenda is the uh, acknowledge a list of capital items from the CIB. So, um, uh, I have a list in front of us. Do you have any further detail besides what's on this list? Um, you wanted to see everything that was submitted to the CIB? No, this is the stuff that they're, that this one, two, three, four, four five. Six. Right, when the board. Yeah. Um, had their meeting and they changed the calendar. They said they wanted to see everything that was submitted. This was everything that was submitted to the CIB and now the CIB is reviewing everything and they're going to come back with their report. So the next meeting is when I tell you okay. what they're actually going to fund. So what's on our list is for the DPW parking lot paving for $130,000, library roof replacement of $105,000, a library computer package of $23,000, but it says that it may not be eligible as it's piecing together smaller packages to rationalize being over $20,000. Library HVAC rebuild for $38,000. A chimney repointing at the library, which is below the $20,000 threshold for the CIB. Uh, gear for new fire truck, $83,019, we were just discussing. Uh, forestry utility truck for 87.5, also for the fire department, and a police cruiser, but that's not part of the CIB. It's built into the um, police budget. 
So, and on these, that's just what the CIB is looking at. We don't know what they're going to recommend for approval. That's just what's on the um, on the agenda for them for the, between now and town meeting. Any questions on that? So they, they won't make any recommendations till when? We'll have their recommendations for the next meeting. Okay. Maybe. No, I was we, on we, that board. No, you. you <laughs> no, they they you said they're going to have it. No, and we've all, and I've always said that. Isn't I, know, it? I know. It's no sense getting to us the day before town meeting. I, I, I'm with, you. Us any I'm with good. you. Okay, I actually have them now, but it's not scheduled to go to you now. Okay. Oh, look at that. Look at that. They were right on schedule with everything they gave us this year. Okay, anybody else have anything on that uh, agenda item? Okay, moving on. Consider the annual request from the West Boylston PTA for transient vendor and common vehicular uh, licenses for their June 14th, 2019 Major Edwards end of the school year event. Jerry's Tasty Freeze is the only vendor not currently licensed in the town. Wanna, do you have any further information on that besides the... The what? police chief has, um, it went through him. He's, he's all organized for the day. It's um, an annual event, and I guess it runs like clockwork. In years past, they used to supply the food, and now they have too many families that come out, and they can't supply the food. So that's why they use the food vendor trucks. And in the agenda... And in motion. Uh, well, it's the same, same event as they had last year and Jerry's Tasty Freeze. <laughs> so we have a second? Second. Any discussion? The only question I have is Jerry's Tasty Freeze. Um, they'll have to do the proper paperwork, Nancy, in order to get on this. Th this is what we're doing is we, they go through the Board of Health and they get all their licenses. But what we've done is in order for, to waive the fees, mm -hmm. the PTA asks for the permit. Okay. Because it's for new vendors to come in, for us to charge them. Um, the first time we looked at this, they said it wasn't worth their while then. Right. So what we did is we said if the PTA applies for the permit, we can grant you as a nonprofit, and we waive the fee. Okay. So that's what we did. Okay. But they, they'll go through all their inspections with the Board of Health and do all their paperwork and um, get that all in order. Okay. Thank you. And, and the vendors are the Dog Father, Jerry's Tasty Freeze, and Travel and Bones. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? So moved. Uh, consider approving the hiring of James Novia to the position of custodian for the new senior center effective April 22nd, 2019 at grade one, step one, 1221 an hour for nine hours a week. So moved. I do have a question. Nancy. Uh, I do know that there is one custodian at the currently at the senior center, right? Correct. Will he be working for? Yes. What they're doing is they're going to do the gentleman that they've had yeah. for the past few years is a retired gentleman, and I believe he works. Um, oh, she's not here. I, I think he works maybe eight. Maybe. So he will be continuing to work whatever hours yes. he's doing. This gentleman is going to work Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, and the other gentleman is going to work the other three days. They really wanted to keep him. They asked if they could do a job sharing. I said, as long as you have a set schedule for everybody, and um, they worked it out, and this is what they want. Okay. Thank you. Still need a second on that. Oh, second. Any further discussion? I do have a question, Nancy. Was this job posted? Yes. Oh, okay, because I didn't see it like on the website or anything. So it's been posted. Yes, it was, we post to do five days in house, and then we do it um, outside. Okay, and they did interviews, and this is yes, she had. I believe she had seven applicants. They interviewed four people. Okay, and this is who she's recommending. Yes. Okay. Good. Thank you. Any further discussion? No. Hearing none. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed. So moved. All right, um, public hearing application of JAG Business LLC, DBA uh, WB Street Grill, 175 West Boylston Street for an all alcohol beverage pouring license. Raj? Notice is hereby given that the, pub, that the Board of Selectmen of the Town of West Boylston will hold a public hearing on the application for an all alcoholic beverage pouring license for JAG Business LLC. DBA 
WB Street Grill 175 West Boylston Street. The public hearing will be held on Wednesday, April 3rd, 2019 at 7.15 p.m. in the Selectman's Meeting Room, number 210 of the Town Hall 140 West Worcester Street, West Boylston. All interested persons, groups, and agencies are invited to attend. Okay, uh, why don't you introduce yourself? Hi. Uh, my name is Anna Snow. This is my husband, Chris Snow. Uh, we are from Spencer, Massachusetts, and we're interested in opening up um, a restaurant in West Wilson. Um, currently, we're operating Black and White in Spencer. We've been open there for about eight years now, and I figured it's time to open another one. <laughs> um, uh, we'll be operating seven days a week, lunch and dinner. Um, we also apply for an entertainment license, so well, there's a possibility of having maybe late night entertainment just as, you know, as the clientele, either they'll want it or not, so we'll see there. Um, it'll be mostly like family dining, date night, catching up. Um, we're going to take some of our, you know, menu items from, from our other restaurant and transition them over here. Um, focusing on quality food, pairing them with craft cocktails, craft beers. Um, we are going to have wines on tap, which is something that we don't have over there. So that's kind of exciting for us to, to, to do here. Um, we're just looking to expand our, our menu portfolio. We thought West Wilson would be a great place. I mean, it's kind of similar to where we are now, demographics. You know, it's, it's a little bit smaller, but there's a lot of traffic, and uh, it seems like a good business move anyways um, in a good community I mean it seems just working with the townspeople everybody's been pretty pretty uh, easy to work with so and that's that Any questions from the board <laughs> <laughs> you are gonna miss me remember that <laughs> so what would attract you to West Boylston um, well we didn't want to go too far from where we were, so we were kind of been looking around the area. Um, and like I said, the demographics seemed pretty similar. The only difference, like I said, was the town's a little bit smaller, but it still has that high traffic area. Um, Are you going to be running both places? Uh, yeah, you know, we have we pretty much um, set our standards at the, at the other place. You know, it's kind of. We've hired the right help and managers and, and whatnot there, so. Okay. It'll be mostly, mostly me. And you said seven days a week? Yeah. Do you have any idea of hours yet? Um, so probably 11, so lunch will start at 11, and then um, I don't want to go way past because I've got a, a little child I need to be home, mm -hmm. home to, but you know, if, like I said, we did apply for the entertainment license as well, so. Maybe one one night a week or two nights a week will be there a little bit later than than normal. And you said you've been running the other restaurant like eight years. Yeah. Was that your first attempt at running a business? That was our first. I I grew up in the mom and pop pizza shop. So, okay. Okay. and then uh, made the oops, oops made the jump to restaurant. Sorry, talk with my hand. It's okay. <laughs> so were you involved in the redesign and the changes within? That's happened within oh, the yeah. building yeah it was pretty similar to to here um we we bought that business foreclosure the property foreclosure guided it renovated it put all new equipment in kind of started from scratch here. oh here. no the one in west boylston oh in west boylston oh yeah um so yeah we're we're so you're renting the facility we're renting the facility but we're involved in the same designing it and um putting all new equipment and, and whatnot in there when do you hope to open the doors? Um, ideally, probably the end of June. So, <laughs> you're not too sure, huh? No, but it's, you know, it's a lot going on still. We have the, Optimist, pessimist. You know, the front, I don't know if you guys have been in there, if you popped in at all. And I've looked in. Not since it's closed. You get a chance to stop there and take some when they work. There's a lot of work being done. Uh, it's, I think people are going to be pleasantly impressed and surprised when you walk in. Yeah, it looks very different. It looks nice. Yeah, it's much more. Um, community family friendly atmosphere that we've tried to create in there. Casual. But yeah, the back of the building still the kitchen is you know a lot of work that needs to be done in there. So I feel June. She always pushes for the earlier day. <laughs> we'll see. 
She wants more money quick. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's a mouse of babes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 the honesty of the eight year old. That's right. That's perfect. <laughs> yeah, that was great. That was perfect. <laughs> Do you know anything about the town of West Boylston? Um, I know some. I mean, I grew up in Holden, so okay. I'm familiar with the area. Great. Um, you know, we know some people that work work in town. Um, just like it's, it seems like a small. I was looking at the sign outside. Small town, big heart. Yeah. So that's what it feels like. Small and business is very important to this town, and. We're very glad to have new business come in and you know try new things. So you've got your work ahead of you, but we're glad you're working on it and uh, getting it done. And I have looked into the building a couple of times, and very very nice work being done. It's really upgraded mm. for the look of it. So yeah, we see a lot of potential there, and I think uh, I think it sounds like we'll be very pleased with what we got going on once we get it open. We have there's ambitions of. Uh, uh, outdoor dining there as well. I'm, I'm not oh. sure. We're still working with the property owner. I'm sure you guys know Mr. Gallo. Um, we've agreed to do it, but I'm not sure exactly how we're doing it just yet. Put a, a deck off that front portion there. Yep. So a nice home where they're going to have out, outside dining and whatnot. So that'll be a nice attraction for us. So yeah. We see a ton, a lot of potential there to me. Keep it the yeah. town. And, and you've been working with the building inspector and things are going well? So Good. far, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sounds great. Are you going to work in the store? What's your name? Nicholas. Huh? Nicholas. Nicholas. Are you going to work in the store to make money? <laughs> <laughs> Already you have money? Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah, good. His brothers work good enough, yeah. right? This guy, he was in a, a, car, a, a bucket on the floor, we call it, and we opened it. It's eight first years one. old, we opened it, yeah, wow. eight years ago. Mom. Wow. Mm. <laughs> well, good luck. Thank you. Any further questions from the board? Any questions from the public? Motion to close the public meeting. Second. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? So moved. Motion to grant the license. Is requested. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. And they're also looking for a common Vic license and an entertainment license. Mm -hmm. We want to. We want to do that. Also. Okay, so yes. make a motion to include both. Well, you need a separate motion. Separate motion. Okay, make a separate motion to include uh, those two licenses also. Second. All those in favor. Um, any discussion? All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed. So move. Welcome to town. Good luck. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Uh, next item on the agenda is to refer the petitioned zoning bylaw article to the planning board for public hearing. So do we need a motion to do that or how does Yes, please. So we have to, it's a petition bylaw, so we have to send it to, um, for a public hearing. So do we have a motion on that? What bylaw? The um, bylaw to overturn uh, marijuana establishments in town. So even though this new thing came out saying it's you can't overturn it, we're still going to do it. Uh, we can both this not is, to. Yeah, this is the you know as far as I know, you know this uh, ten taxpayer petition. They did uh, submit it to the town, uh, the board of selectmen. You know we are going to put it on the town warrant. So, so this this since this is a zoning bill, it has to be referred to the planning board. Doesn't matter what but it, what the, the question is we received an art we received a, an yeah. email that says the Attorney General's office overturned a similar article to this do you remember what town it was Nancy I don't remember but my understanding is that you are required to put any petitioned yeah, any article petition. on okay. and and what we will do at town meeting is, is we will have that. town council get up and make the statement that you know this this happened and um, the vote goes as the vote goes Okay. Yeah, so we'll make a motion to put it on for the, for the public meeting. Yeah, we, uh, we have to just, just to refer it to the, the planning board. Second. Any further discussion? 
All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? No. Motion carries. Uh, recognize the acceptance of donations made to the library between June 27, 2018 and March uh, 19, 2019 in the amount of $2,473.40 from payments for lost or damaged books and other materials, donations for the use of the printers, copier, and fax machines, memorial gifts, and other donations given to support the general needs of the library and, and approve expenditure of these funds for general purposes. So moved. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Motion carries. Oh, opposed. Motion carries. Uh, consider request for two interdepartmental transfers from the Department of Public Works. Yeah, I put in for two um, interdepartmental transfers, both coming out of the wage line item, one for um, purchase services, DPW purchase services, and the other for supplies. Um, in my in my notes, both of um, the line items that these are going into are less than one percent remaining for the, the rest of fiscal year. Um, it, important. Um, I don't know if you have this paper in, in, in front of you, but actually, what we use these monies for. For the DPW supplies, um, with the season is over, there are many more road repairs and property repairs that must be completed. This includes, but is not limited to, personal property damage that has been done over the winter plowing season, such as lawn and mailbox repair or replacement. So entailed in that would be the purchases of, obviously, the posts, the boxes, loom, seed, um, and any other damages that were incurred, and that's um, um, the bigger part of it. So there's, like I said, less than 1% in that line item. So the operating cost for um, for supplies also that we'll need for road repair, um, very limited. It's, um, I was talking to Nancy about it today. We just, the money's just not there to do that. And the other one um, is for uh, purchase services. Additional monies will be needed for the remainder of the current fiscal for items such as employee licensing, building utilities, membership fees, and uniforms. Also, there is currently less than 1% left from the originally budgeted amount for this current fiscal. Um, I'm sure everybody can see that the prices of fuels, we do have a separate item for um, fuels, but I think we're in pretty good shape for that, for that no, at this point. Um, so those are the only things we're looking for now, and without any additional unforeseen circumstances, hopefully that'll get us through this fiscal. We have a motion. Oh, if you were, sir, I'm sorry, before before I state that, because I don't know if you have the balances, um, what's left in in wages, excuse me. In, in wages is 155, 45, 25. But after the warrant that's going through today, we'll have a balance of 141, 463. And after these two, um, after the remaining seven payroll warrants go through, it'll leave us, um, barring no emergencies, 22,000. Free cash. <laughs> But I never, you know, you don't jump up and down for joy. We're only in April. We never know what could happen, so. If Chris was here, he'd tell you there'd be no more snowstorms, so you don't need it for, for that. <laughs> right. Okay. Yeah, he'll tell you that in May, though. Uh, make a motion to approve. Second. Any discussion on these? Hearing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? So moved. Can I ask you a question for the? Yes. So you have a plan for the road savings? I, I do, as a matter of fact. Um, I have been reading your pavement management system report um, that was uh, finalized and published in January 2018. Um, and what this, what this report says, and then you and I really haven't had a chance to talk about this, but as the road network sets now to, to bring it up to snuff, your transportation yeah. system roadway would cost the town in a Band-Aid um, fix of approximately $600,000 a year. And that's for a five-year program. If you wanted to go full bore, it would be obviously over a million. Now, um, this, when this report was done, and, and, and I, um, I like to myself, 
follow the judgment of myself and the department. And those comments I get from, obviously, uh, you folks and the, and the general motoring public how, as we answer complaints and get the view. What they did here was also, um, this report, CMRPC, is they had um, a person drive a car for, um, just for a ride of the roadway to get the feel of it and somebody taking notes as they drove down the road to see what they thought. Um, obviously, it's, it needs to be a little more, a lot of information in this report, very helpful. I just don't think it, it covers everything that needs to be done. So what I have uh, put together with the balance in my, um, my MassDOT ledger shows that right now we have available funds of $185,670 out of Chapter 90. Understandably, by town meeting, you'll have an additional uh, roughly $260,000 to add to that. So what I'm looking at is uh, for repairs at this current year's bid price that will run out June 30 um, would be um, Hartwell Street Upper, which is um, roughly uh, $22,000. And again, please, these are Band-Aids. This is not how I personally choose to fix a road. Um, Hosmer Street, um, all ter terrible condition, um, is 51280 and Temple Street is 70847 And um, also Keys, which is 26000 26, which would put us over what we have left in the ledger. So the balances of the three first ones that I read you are roughly, roughly $181,000. But again, that's an overlay. That's a Band-Aid. Even this report here says some of them are in need of, of um, full rehabilitation. And the way I'd like to build a road and see a road built is so it will last and do a full depth reclamation. Any culvert pipes that have to be replaced, full depth re include a 12 inch reclaim. That material is put back into the subsurface for base, uh, graded with the proper crown and slope, um, compacted, and then um, two inches of base coat and an inch and a half on top of it. That will more than double the prices that I just read to you because this is only for an inch and a half of um, bituminous concrete. It's only an overlay. Other things in this report show such things as crack, uh, a crack sealing as a pre preventative maintenance measure, which is an excellent one, but you've got to move on it quickly. And you, you already have your own crack sealer. Excellent investment. I, I applaud uh, for whenever they got that, but that is certainly a good thing to have. Generally, um, generally speaking, you have to go out to bid or, or use uh, Chapter 90 funds for crack sealing or catch basin cleaner or structure repair. So these are the projects that I would like to see done and get started on prior to the beginning of next fiscal. Um, I talked to Nancy today. I don't know really who the um, authorized signatory is for Chapter 90 projects. I would like to fill out the project requests and submit them to the board. If the DPW is the authorized signatory, I uh, never uh, start a Chapter 90 project without bringing it to the board, and obviously to Nancy. Um, but those are the projects that I recommend that we do um, as quickly as possible this beginning of this construction season so we can save some money on the next bidding process. So you know there are things um, in your bid process, excuse me, that um, were not bid, such as full depth reclamation. And that's, uh, believe it or not, a lot, um, um, a lot cheaper than doing a uh, coal plane milling. And, and I'd just like to put that material back into the ground. Um, but I'm fairly confident that I can get that done at the price that I had it bid, it in, bid in other places. If you choose to just to do this overlay, understood, and so be it. Um, and the, the, the fourth project here, what I'd like to do is keys first for the 26 k which again would more than double that price, and then save tempo when we get the, for, uh, until we get the new allotment come town meeting. What part of Temple Street are you talking about? Temple is, it's 4,500 feet, so that's, um, that's almost a mile of Temple Street on the other side. It's from the West Wilson Line, you think? Yeah. yeah. So I guess what you're saying is, you'd rather, is it better doing two, two streets correctly than four just overlaying them? Is that to, what you're saying? To me it is, yes, because it's a permanent fix, and as long as the preventive maintenance stands true for the life of that blacktop in a community like this or any community other than a highway would you you'd get 20 years out of it so isn't 140 
state road. So why would we pave it? We wouldn't do a no. We would not do a state road. Now I um, don't believe one forty. Temple Street. Temple Street is one forty, right? I don't believe all of it is one forty. Doesn't that merge into one forty? I thought. I thought the whole. I thought it was one forty. Let me double check. Let me double check. Because certainly you can't. They wouldn't allow you to do a state road with Chapter 90 funds anyway. I thought. I. I thought. I always thought it was. But maybe I'm wrong. Okay. I did too. And I thought. I mean, that was just recently done. Oh. No, Temple Street is bad. Uh, near the Pine Pine. That's Crescent Street. Yeah, Temple Street is bad. The roads are very bad. What part of Temple Street are you talking? Do you? Mall. Yeah, the other the other side, closest to the other side of the of the border. I'd like to find out if that's. I, I, I yeah. thought for sure that was a state rule. I'll find it out. I mean, obviously it's a it's a it's a it's a number group, but that doesn't necessarily mean it. But I will certainly check that. Um, they wouldn't allow you to do a state road with. Yeah, I, I thought we we plow it, but I don't think we uh, had. A, do you know anything about that? But if, if we if we plow it, it's not a state road. But if it's on the pavement management plan, then it is. Well, then it's our street. We wouldn't have put something on the plan that's not one of our streets. Right, but if the question is there, I, I'll, I'll check that, Mr. Hadley. If the question is there, I'll, I'll, I'll make sure that I, before I fill out the project okay. request. That and I if check you that. could give us more detail ex exactly what part that you're uh, doing, I'll get that. Sure. That would be helpful. I mean, I, I, I like Gary's idea of doing, doing two roads right. Doing it right, yeah. Instead of four roads, just putting a bandaid on it because you're going to be doing it again in three years or four years or five years, something like that. And that's that, just. That's my question. That's What's the difference in life for doing an overlay versus. Doing it right. Doing it right to me is a 20 year roadway as long yeah. as it prevents the And if we and put the band aid on it, an overlay, three to five. So then it's, it's, not, it's a no brain. You're paving over, you're putting an inch and a half of bit conk on top of, of, of fractures um, where water's going to come out and you'll see the same cracks come up in the new overlay. I'll give you a perfect example is uh, 190 northbound. Go driving that road. <laughs> no, yeah. thanks. They, they, they I don't want to have to get an alignment. Instead of doing it right. Yeah. The transverse cracking, and you'll see the, the, the blacktop start to delaminate once the water gets in there and freezes in the winter, it, it pops up and it, it, it goes up to the upper level. I do have one more question. Nancy, we did talk about Lee Street. Lee Street up, upper Lee Street. The puddle? Yeah. That's another project that we're doing with, um, we had that meeting with John Hoyt. That was the Lee Street oh. drainage. Oh, okay. okay. That's a d yeah. whole different thing. That's a whole different thing. Okay. He's, so he's that, that's, working on that prices. place is getting worse and worse. So why don't we? This isn't uh, on our agenda for tonight. Correct. So yeah, why don't we? Add, add, you know, I know he's here. We're asking the questions, but before we get too far afield from the agenda, why don't we put this on an agenda to get a full update on? Um, uh, I don't know what next, what two weeks looks like, but a f if probably very full. It's. it's <laughs> We'll squeeze it in. Yeah, but at least I can get, I'll get the exact measurements, I'll get the, fill out the project, it'll be an official agenda item. Mm -hmm. um, so you can, um, I, I guess, just approve for me to move forward with it, but I want to make sure you're fully aware of the project and what, and what we're looking at. I mean, do we, uh, I know, again, not on the agenda, but I, I, my feeling is we're going to get prices, let's do it right and yeah, not absolutely. put a Band-Aid on it. Absolutely. Absolutely. So if, we could, if you could have the prices on doing it the right way yep. when, when okay. you come back. Sure, certainly. Okay. Um, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I just want to say in public, you guys did a great job installing that sign, the gateway sign. It looks great. Everybody, we had a lot of great comments about it. So thank you so much. Well, no, no, you're very welcome. Uh, the crew and I met out there several times to make sure we had the right view coming into town, and uh, I'm very happy with it. Um, also, I'm um, so you know, and not that it's uh, not that it matters in that regard, but many, so many others that the crew was working in unison. And um, it, it really um, pulling together as a team, and, and I'm really very appreciative that they're as knowledgeable and, um, and willing to work with me as they have been. So, well, also kudos to you because you haven't been here this long, and you're really taking charge and getting some things done. So but, thank well, you. No, we all do. We all do it together. Thank you yeah. very much. But uh, we all do it together. Mistakes will be made. Um, certainly. Probably human. make more than any because I have the opportunity to. <laughs> uh, but I continue to, um, to learn by it from them. And uh, the crew's been very helpful to me, all of them involved. So hopefully we'll just keep moving forward and, and things will be good. And they are good. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thanks, Gary. Okay, back to the second public hearing. Raj. Notice is hereby given that the Board of, Se Board of Selectmen of the Town of West Boyles and will hold a public hearing on the application for a wine and malt beverage pouring license for NOLA Cajun Chicken LLC 
किचन हम सर एल एल सी डी बी ए नौ लाख है जन किचन थ्री फोर्टी वेस्ट पॉलिसन स्ट्रीट द पब्लिक हेयरिंग विल बी हेल्ड ऑन वेनसडे अप्रैल थर्ड टू थाउजेंड एट सेवन थर्टी पी एम इन द सेलेक्टमेंट्स मीटिंग रूम टू टाइम ऑफ द टाउन हॉल वन फोर्टी वुस्ट स्ट्रीट वेस्ट पॉलिसन मैस All interested persons, groups, and agencies are invited to attend. Good evening. Good evening. Hi. Hi. Uh, my name is Robert Wen. I'm the uh, manager for the OFC, and this is uh, Jay, the uh, Jing, uh, from the uh, owner of the OFC, uh, my wife partners. So we're here, we're seeking the, uh, uh, for the BNY license uh, for NOLA. Uh, so I've been talking to uh, George, the uh, building in, uh, inspector, and the police chief and uh, with Nancy and come up with a plan how we do it. And we hired an architect to design the way that the, the city and everybody wanted the way it's supposed to be. Uh, so we have that done. Uh, so we are here seeking uh, permission to do it. Questions? <laughs> so business is going well. Yes, uh, we've been uh, very supportive from the community, you know, um, and, and that's what we like the most. You know, we, we only open to 9 o'clock on weekdays and then 10 o'clock on Sunday, you know, so a lot of our local ask, you know, oh, we want a uh, glass of wine, beer, you know, when we eat and the place is so small and we talk about the patio mm -hmm. and uh, you know so because of that you know we want to involve more you know expand more to give it to the community and not only that you know we find that the parents are bringing their children in also and they really like the gator for <laughs> some unknown reason i wasn't quite sure when i did gator you know just like i tell you when i first got here is that i wasn't sure if uh, the community uh, receptive to the Cajun concept, but now I kind of find out that they really enjoy uh, what we have, you know, and you know the product that we uh, we serve. And the last time we're saying that you know we we trying to use some, uh, our buying from the community, and you know, and we we did, you know, West Borton is one of our major supplier of seafood. You know, so it, it worked well for both. You know, we supporting uh, the community and they support us. And I think that's the only way that uh, we're going to grow. So if this is granted, you're going to keep the same hours? Same hours. You know, we're not going to expand because, okay. you know, it's, it's, we're not, we wanted to have it, you know, so it's, that's why we don't want a liquor license. You know, we're not a place for people to go there to get drunk. Yeah. You know, we just want them to have a beer or a glass of wine while they eat and that's it. You know, okay. So if I'm looking at the building, where do you, where are you proposing the patio? Um, the existing, they had the existing uh, six tie down patio already. So, you know, so if you're looking at the restaurant on the right hand side, that's where the existing is. Okay. So now we're going to uh, open the, uh, the door from the inside. Okay. And then we're going to fence around it. Oh, yeah. okay. You know, you've, so. You've then, gotten very good reviews on the West Boylston Connect site. Yeah. Thank you so much. Did you bring yeah. menus with you? Because I keep saying I have to stop. Yes, I have, I have. I have. In my <laughs> okay, I have a whole did. box in my truck. <laughs> I need one. Do you have the website done yet? Because I've checked a few times. No, no, no we're working, You're working on, working on it. it. Okay. I only have one copy today. I have. I have. I'll bring it up some. I have some okay. in my car. I got one from Happy Cleaners. Oh. So, the only concern I have is parking. Cars pulling right here. Are you gonna put some kind of barrier? Yes, the police chief talked to me about that, and now uh, we're gonna put the uh, the barrier, you know, around. So like a uh, like, like a cement pole. Something yeah, you say either the cement pole, you know, you know, or the uh, the parking block around it, you know, or a pole, and then with the chain. So we went over that with the uh, the yeah, police chief. Yeah, that's only the friend I have here. Yeah, yeah. Someone posted a lot and can't right. stop. Yeah. Let's say you are talking. Let's say. Which side? So if you're facing the restaurant, the right-hand side, that's where the patio is? Yes, that's where the people, like so, I was telling so, the chief, so, that people are not going to the stop sign. They use my parking lot. Yeah. Like today, when I go out, they almost hit me yeah. because they just go right through my so parking they, lot. They you know? yeah. And I asked the, uh, the chief if there's anything that he can do for us because it's, it's, become, it's become real bad. Because for me, when I come out, I know, so I watch 
when I get out the restaurant. But a lot of my customer, you know, they don't know that, and these people just go like fly right through. So are you going to put try to put like a fence on the right hand side along, oh, the, along uh, Denelli? Yes, there's going to be a fence around the whole fence around. The and then in the area. front, you know, put some kind of barrier. Yeah, yeah, that's all I'm yes. concerned about. So yeah. something that a car can't drive through. Yes, we both trust me, we both concerned about that. You know, uh, okay. right? Also, I did notice on the other day, you know, they are. Uh, parking on the left hand side towards the plaza. Yes, so, so people are taking, you know, cars are parked like this, and the people are taking on the back. On so the now the parking is going to be front, front, and then side, 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 and then the back also. I think you may have to do something with the parking. Yes, so we'll. there are a lot of cars come and goes, but yeah. uh, mm -hmm. people are taking on the side, this side, that yep. side. Yeah. Yeah. So you will have a problem. Yes. Yeah. I believe the, the, he owns a park, some of the back parking lot, yeah, so, so yes. there is room to park there. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Any other questions? No. no. Anything from the public? Motion to close the public hearing. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Make a motion to grant the uh, was it beer and wine license as, mm -hmm. as, as asked for. Yeah. Second. Any further discussion? All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? So moved. Thank you guys. Good luck. Thank, Thank you, you so much. We're glad it's going well. Thank Keep you so it up. Much. Those those licenses aren't, that's not in here? Excuse me? Do we, we don't have to sign? Not yet. Okay. Yes, you get it from the VC? Oh, it's got to go through the ABCC and then we sign that. No, but you're going to sign a cover sheet no, yeah, the ABCC gets it next. Okay, uh, old business. Request from Tracy and Paul Weldon, 176 Pier Street, a reconsideration of sewer abatement request. Wanna give the spiel? Um, you had um, reviewed this request about a month ago um, and denied it based on your um, request for sewer abatements and your um, policy on um, second meters. This person um, put in a new lawn, um, they showed all the receipts, um, and they, I've been told when she got her um, abatement that said it was denied, she gave a call to Carrie, and she would like the board to reconsider it because she said she went to see Butch or call Butch and asked and told him all the water was outside use, and he said to her that if she had all of her receipts, he would bring it to the board, but he had no, he did not know if the board would approve it or not. He didn't tell her that he would, um, that the board would approve it, but he said he would bring it forward to the board. But she went to Butch, I spoke with Butch today, after she had already done this. It wasn't before she put the lawn in. She put the lawn in, she watered the lawn, she got her sewer bill and said, I have all my receipts. And that's when he said he would put the abatement forward and tell the board, you have your receipts and water was not used, um, didn't flow through the system. Um, and she would like that to be reconsidered. Nancy, Butch did acknowledge that he did say had a conversation with her? He had a conversation with her, but he did not give her any guarantee right. that the board would do this. And this was after. She didn't ask him before. She asked him after she did the watering. And that was my big question was, did this happen? Did she call Butch and say, I want to put it in the lawn? He said, yeah, go ahead and we'll abate the bill after you do the watering. Or did she say, oh my god, look at this bill, and then went and saw Butch, and it was the latter. So, do we have any motion? Okay, hearing none, we'll move on to um, the FISP update, general update on the Senior Center. It is uh, done doing some minor uh, touch-ups and in interior in the, the building. It's pretty much done. It's came out good. Uh, hopefully, uh, they're moving in sometime in April? Next week. Yeah, we have this next week. Yeah. But then the uh, grand opening is going to be, let me see, May 4th at 11? What about Saturday? Is? 
Well, they're sad, you see. May 4th, thank you. May 4th, thank you. I'll be in Ireland. We'll be yeah. talking about that at the next meeting. We'll do I have a question though? Yeah. Um, did the computers and everything get all straightened out and the uh, cable you mean? Cable, right. Yes. So they, it's they, been installed and they're doing the last part of it tomorrow. Correct. Yeah. Okay, good. The, 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 there was a phone system issue too, right? That's yeah, all that's right. Right. Uh, everybody's been rectified. So that's all set. Yeah. Everybody's been rectified. Excellent. Thank you. Okay, town administrator report. Nancy, you're up. Okay. First thing is your grant report. Um, there's um, is the report from all of the different departments on the grants that they applied for and they received and what the grants were for with the school department, the library. Um, and I also reached out to our grant writers um, and Theo said he has not had anyone email him about any grants in close to a year. And I sent out three emails to Carrie Suda and I never got a response on any of them. So um, that's where we stand with the grant report. As far as town council, through February 28th, we have expended 50.64% of our $80,000 budget. The um, Barassi versus the ZBA, the court set a new trial date, and that's now June 21st, 2019. Um, and they have a pre-trial conference on June 17th. Um, snow and ice, we... Um, we just got another bill, so we are now at $213,321.10. Um, that was my latest number from the accountant's office. And that was 165 originally? Is that what it was? I believe it was because we increased it last yeah. year, mm -hmm. and there was, yes. Is it 213 the spent amount or the overspent? It's overspent. I thought, yeah, so that's where it's on top of the original budget. We spent that. Oh. Um, our treasurer collector, Bonnie Yazik, has um, notified the town that she's going to be retiring in June. I met with her and I sat down with the town accountant so we could put a timeline together. Um, we did the in house posting this week. On Friday, I'm going to send the ad into the beacon. We're also going to um, advertise it on the collector association website. And um, there's a timeline here, and there's a proposed interview team. Um, and when we get to that point, I'd like one member of the Board of Selectmen on the interview team. Um, and hopefully the plan is to have someone in place for two weeks of training in June, and then Bonnie's last day will be June 28th. And this morning, I received notice that Betty, who's been working in the office, I think she's been working there for 25 years. She's been there a really long time. She um, comes in every Tuesday. She works five hours. She does all the payables. She processes everything. She files everything away. She's going to retire along with Bonnie. She told Bonnie when she was leaving, she was going to leave. Well, so It's not good. Well, we posted that one in-house today, and um, we'll trudge along, and we'll get, the, we'll get the job done. Nancy's going to have seven jobs by the time the year ends. Um, Nancy, uh, Mr. Chairman, that just seems like that's very aggressive. If the treasurer collector no later than June tenth, that seems is that um, are there a lot of jobs out there for that at this point? I, you know? I've been monitoring the MMA website, yeah, and we've actually identified a couple of people that we're going to um, invite to apply so okay. I'm just thinking by the time somebody gets interviewed and then somebody gives a notice that's yeah, that's why um, if you look at yeah we don't we're thinking that most people only have to give a two or three week notice Ooh, I but, don't know about that. Um, we're hoping that once we notify the top applicant that would be May 9th um, get concurrence from the board that's the 15th and so that would give us three weeks um, to get the person okay. here. So I, I would think somebody on that level would give a month's notice. That's why I'm questioning. But if two and three is, you know, typical, that's fine. Mm -hmm. Just we might need to have a backup. And if we need a backup, I know that um, Bonnie would agree to okay. Good. help us out. She's already said she would come in and help train if if we get beyond July 1, yeah. um, she would help the town out. Okay, great. Thank you. Good. 
Um, the community survey now is closed. Um, there were a number of handwritten surveys um, delivered to town hall at the end, so Norm is going to pick all those up. I actually counted 34 downstairs in the town clerk's office, so that was good. I'm hoping we at least hit 450, um, and we'll see. Um, then we'll tally up the results and um, get a report ready for that. And that's all I have for my report tonight. Nancy, on the snow and ice, uh, the 213, mm -hmm. that's obviously got to be filled from this year's budget. Does that affect anything for, uh, at this point? You're still good? We're good. What, do you know off the top of your head what you have budgeted for the end snow and ice figure in your calculations? It if was. not, you can let me know later. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, that's a very drilled down specific question. Can I ask one question? Nancy, I was at the CMRPC mm -hmm. and there was a potential grant if our community is safe route to school. I have that written down. So it is, uh, you know, there is a money available. People, uh, a lot of uh, other towns and are using it. So we could get some money out of that. So, but before then, you know, we need to become a member of that, that list. Our town is not. Correct. So I, maybe I believe you can, was was Butch working with the school superintendent on that before he departed? I think it's uh, yeah, it's DPW and uh, I don't know who else is supposed to be. Okay, well we'll we'll look into that. So there is money available there, and also with that uh, complete state policy, we do get money. So if you use up this money, we can apply for it. We, we are working on the, um, the complete streets. We're working on the sidewalks that are going from Pine Arden to the school. Um, we met with the engineer, um, and then I called the school superintendent. I sent her the map so she would know what was going on, and she hadn't seen it. So I invited her to come up and have the engineer come out on Monday, and um, she had another suggestion. The engineer was extremely accommodating, and he's going to scale back a couple of the bankings so that it would be um, clearer uh, sight lines for her. So it was a good meeting, and everybody's happy. And um, we're we just have to now get an easement for the gentleman who lives on one Linwood Lane. So town council's putting the language together for town meeting to get that easement. And Gary's working on trying to um, get in touch with this gentleman, and hopefully we'll get that wrapped up and we can get this project done this summer and we'll take care of the dead trees that are in front um, it will be in good shape thank you You're welcome uh, appointments and resignations Pavel Lovin has tendered his reg resignation from the Finance Committee so we now have two vacancies on that board should you be interested please fill out an application to serve on a board or committee located on the website uh, meetings invitations and announcements the 2019 street sweeping schedule has been posted online. Please do not place any debris, leaves, sticks, trash, or rocks in the street as that may damage the equipment and also don't park on the street during your scheduled week. April 5th at 7 p.m. is the library fundraiser at the manor. Tickets are $25. April 9th, 5 to 8 p.m. at the West Boylston Dairy Queen. Uh, please join us on National Library Workers Day. 10% of the proceeds will go to the library endowment. And April 27th from 9 to 12 is the townwide cleanup and registration is open uh, online. Uh, future agenda items, selectmen's reports. Anybody? Uh, just have one thing, uh, the Board of Health. Can we ask them about the uh, plastic bags, if they are interested in doing their ban like a lot of communities are doing? I don't know if that's, uh, they would handle that or we would? I think that would be a recommendation from SWAT. Has SWAT discussed that? Uh, I don't know. And there are two bills going to the statewide ban. Mm -hmm. So I just read, uh, you know. But a lot of towns are doing it also. Yeah. No, it's a, they are submitting two bills uh, I saw the email this morning, and uh, 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 from the SWAT, uh, I think you know, it's Elisa Wellington. She did send an email to the Senator uh, Chandler to support those two bills. The basic two bills are, you know, statewide ban on uh, any plastic bags for uh, the entire state. So 
I don't think so. We are uh, uh, SWAT is not doing any any, any of those bands right now. Are any proposing any other? 